definitely appreciate that. Uh, did you get any damage in the storms last night? No, just a bunch of wind and and uh, tree limbs and stuff like that, but nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. I had uh, two big old long panels of my fence blow down in the backyard. I've already talked to you a little bit about this, but uh, yeah, I, I get so irritated. And you kind of talked me down a little bit, and my wife has done a good job of that as well, because I get mad because it's not our fence. Now, when we first moved fence in... Fence is it, though? It, well, and see, that's where it becomes a, a big issue, because... I need the fence more than the neighbor needs the fence. See, the neighbor bought a house, and he didn't build that fence. He yeah. didn't put it up, and he doesn't have three other sections of the fence. He only has your side of the fence. Right. Well, he's got he's got the back and that section. Okay. So and he's that's got so two like two sides two sides side of fence. But now, now he doesn't need it because. But I'm going to bet the back is not his either. I'm going to bet the back is the people behind him. I mean, maybe. Here's the so, fences. I'm just trying to explain it. A fence is a relative thing. Yes. When somebody built the house, they needed a fence, they built it. They sold the house and new people don't need the fence, but you now need one part of the fence that you share. If that goes down, yeah, then it's he on can you. just take the whole damn thing down. He don't care. It's not his. Yeah, they don't well, need it. Here's, here's one of the but issues. You need I need it. I need it because so I've got dogs. Yours. Um, it became an issue, uh, and Matt jumped in on YouTube. It became an issue. Uh, oh, he said, sup, sup. Obviously, if you want to jump in the chat, you can go ahead and do that. It will pop up on the screen on the show. Uh, we always appreciate you guys jumping in on that. But when we first moved into the house, on the day that I closed on the house, there was a storm that blew through. And we had a Bradford pear tree in our backyard, and half of that damn tree fell down and broke a, a good section of that fence. And because it was technically owned by the neighbor, we had to go over and talk to the neighbor and da 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 We had to replace all these fence boards and everything. We had to replace one of the posts. It was just a disaster, and it took forever, right? So we replaced all this stuff, and then whoever was in that house then left, and new people moved in, and once they moved in, they brought some stray pit bull whatever that was a wrecking machine. Man, and this thing, no training, no nothing, but they didn't do anything to, like, fix it. They just kept the dog outside, and it whined. You remember me complaining about this, right? So they kept this dog in the shed, in the backyard, and that. it would be in the middle that. of summer. But this dog would, would scratch and claw and get out because there was no ventilation. It was just 150 degrees probably in that shed, and the dog's just out there, no water, no nothing, stuck in a shed all day. So it, it scratched and clawed and bit and ate up half of the shed, and got out, and when it would get out, it would see our dogs outside, and it would come and jump on the fence. So eventually, it it kind of cracked one of those posts, and the post, like the whole section of the fence, was leaning. So, and of course, that, that dog had gotten into our yard multiple times and whatever, and eventually, one day, the dog was just no longer there. And I, I obviously didn't complain. I'm like, it, okay, good. I don't have to deal with this thing breaking into my yard all the time. But the fence was still leaning and whatnot, and I have gone out there and tried to set that thing back up and re-structure you know, structure it and whatnot to where it would stay up. And then that storm blows through with the 70-mile-an-hour winds last night and knocks the whole thing down. Two gigantic panels. And now Home Depot and Lowe's, I, had, I, had, I went out in the middle of all this COVID-whatever stuff I go out in the middle of all this with my face mask on. I showed you my face mask. If you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching whatever, this was my face mask. It's ridiculous. I went out in public like this. But it's probably better safe than sorry, I guess. But, uh, right. but they're sold out of fence posts. And they don't know when they're going to get any more in. And it, they said a bunch of contractors came in this morning, first thing, and bought them all up. And what, I said, well, yeah. I guess a bunch of people got fences down then, I guess. Uh but yeah, Matt said bloods for life. That's <laughs> but yeah, so uh, 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 Matt, yeah, I need to get David's number from you. But yeah, I'll, I'll uh, I got to get this stupid thing fixed because I can't let my dogs outside because the whole other side of the fence is open. And there's little kids and whatnot. And my small dog wants to go out and just go after these kids. Now, I don't think she would ever actually do anything. But she just barks and goes crazy and da 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 Now, she's never bitten anybody ever. 
but she acts like she wants to. So I had to walk her outside twice today to go let her pee. And it's just like, I've got, I got to get the leash and I got to go get my shoes on and I got to, blah, blah, blah. it's just a mess. Just an inconvenience. It's first world problems, I know. But it's still an inconvenience and I'm still allowed to bitch about it. So <laughs> we, uh, we have gone way too long on that. I apologize, but Jesus, what a, what a day. I, I thought I'd gotten away with everything last night and then I 